and she was $38. So she better be doing something. Tell me what you say now. What's up guys? So long time no speak. I know we're not even gonna get into it because that's just my thing now. So I have a valid excuse this time though. Your boy had the suds, so I've been out of commission for a little while, but I am back and I'm better and ready to be out of the house. It is Saturday and we are getting ready to do one of my favorite things. We're going hygiene shopping because there's some new products that I've been wanting to try and I just wanna see what's new and I wanna be out of the house and yes, so I'm at Starbucks right now because one, because I need coffee and two, we're taking a little bit of a trip. I'm going across town today because I'm just over all the locations on my side. Like I'm just over, over my spots. I'm over everything that's on my side. So I'm gonna go away and see if, see if the stores on the other side is any better. I hope they are. Cause one thing about me, I will drive to a good location. So we gonna go to a Target. We gonna go to a Sephora. We gonna go to an Ulta. I'm even gonna go into a Walmart because sometimes they be having stuff that like Target don't be having. So I just wanna see, like it might suck. It very well might suck, but I'm just in the mood to be out and uh -uh, the air is very loud. But yeah, I'm just in the mood to like drive around a little bit and just do my thing. I've been in the house, so she's ready to be outside, but not really outside, just like out of my house, like by myself doing stuff. Good morning, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you today? May I have a grande brown sugar shake and espresso with almond milk? Anything else? Do you have the impossible breakfast sandwich? Okay. And that'll be it. Thank you. But yeah, so we're just having an Ashley day today because I deserve. And you all will be very proud of me because remember how I always talk about doing my errands super early, like early rising? It is 8.46 a.m., okay? We are in the car, we are out, she is dressed. We are en route. Like, I'ma be to some of these stores before they open. Well, yeah, I think Ulta opens at 10. Obviously, Target and Walmart are already open. But the point is, your boy is early today. Clearly, she was very pressed. But really, it's I took a late nap, and then I was up all night. So I've been up since like midnight. I'll definitely be taking a nap when I get back, but I'm excited because I haven't gone hygiene shopping, like dedicated hygiene shopping to like get new things and just like get random stuff in a minute. So I'm excited and obviously I'm excited to do any type of shopping. So, and it's a nice day, at least right now. I think it's supposed to rain later, but I should be back home by the time that happens. So yeah but yeah that's what's on the agenda for today i hope they make my drink good today because i'm really in the mood for it to be yummy did y'all see that i saw it on instagram so i guess it's a real but it's like when they hand you your drink and you look at it and tell that it's wrong i pray that that doesn't happen today however this is the starbucks that made the snickerdoodle latte and they put their foot in that so i'm hoping that you know it's early morning usually a team is in the morning like i feel like a team people work morning shifts so hopefully somebody good will be making my drink hello it's gonna be lovely yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And may I have a straw, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you too. All right. Last time I forgot to ask for a straw. Oh my gosh, y'all. So being up and out this early is everything that I thought it would be. There's literally no one out here. Like, there's no one and I love it. So I'm gonna have to work hard to like make this my new thing on Saturdays if I'm going to be running errands. Okay, I just had to come back real quick because I don't even, this looks very strange to me and I'm, I'm shook. Like it doesn't, I don't know that it looks right, but let me, let me just try it out first. I don't wanna judge a book by its cover, but it's looking very suspect. Like I don't wanna have to go back over there. Like, why does it look so, like, it looks too watery. What the? Nah, this, nah. This gotta go back. I don't know what this is. There's literally, like, no, nah. Nah. That's gotta go back. 
Ain't no way. Okay, y'all. So I got another one. It still doesn't taste exactly correct, but I'm over it now. So it definitely tastes better than the first one, but I don't love it. But we move. I'm not going to let that spoil the day. And like I said, we're going a little bit of distance away. So, yeah. Just going to take a little second for me to get there. So let me get that dress going. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all when I get to when I get to Walmart. <laughs> so i just left walmart and that was a waste of my time like i bought two things but they weren't even like anything interesting so i was on my way to ulta and then i noticed this target and it looks like it just got a facelift it's either new or got a facelift but it looks nice so i'm just gonna go to this target instead of the one that i was planning on going to i think or maybe i'll still go to that one because it's not far i don't know i'm gonna check this target out the other one that i wanted to go to has the ulta inside so i'm gonna see if this one has one because then i won't need to go to the other one and we can visit that one another day but yeah so i'm gonna go in here and see what they got i am loving being out at this time it's 10 14 now and i just have to say i don't know if it's because of where i'm at or just the time of day but it's giving nice it's not packed actually walmart was a little it was a lot of traffic in there too much for me so that was also why i was ready to get about but over here it's like nobody in this parking lot i mean there's people in the parking lot but like not really like not really for real for real. i'm gonna show y'all what it's looking like hopefully it's like no people in there i'm about to go inside and i will see y'all in there seen this before i know they have a body conditioner in this type of scent or formula i didn't know there was a body wash so i might have to try this i don't think i have ever tried olay's body wash before Ooh, it smells good too i'm about to get this this is the olay kp scrub and i tried this before actually i think it works I feel like everybody keeps coming over here because I'm filming. So I was saying this is the Olay KP scrub for like strawberry legs, I think. I've used this before, probably like a month ago and I ran out, but I feel like it was working. So I'm gonna get this again so I can keep using it and see if it continues to improve. I use it on the back of my leg. Like I have some like kind of rough patches on my arms, but I know that's eczema, but anyway, I liked it. So I'm gonna pick this up and use it again and see if it improves it anymore. We're gonna see, I'll keep y'all posted on that. Oh, 
Yeah. Is this the only one? Because I've recorded another Alta. It's Apparently, I can't record. See you guys later. Okay, y'all. So, Dusty Alta told me I couldn't film in there. Like, Pew. I've literally never had anyone ever anywhere tell me I couldn't film somewhere. I don't even know if I'm gonna include that because Loki, she caught me off guard and I don't even really remember what I said, but girl, like, and then the dumb thing is she came up to me like, are you filming? You know that's what I'm doing. You know that's exactly what I'm over here doing. Were you watching me? Like, cause literally as soon as I put my camera up, she pulled up on me like, and then she was stuck. Cause I was like, well, no other Ulta has told me I can't film. So like, uh whatever it's not that big of a deal but like it's annoying because it's literally like y'all it's not that deep nobody what it's ulta like i'm not casing the place to rob it like and this one's not even a good ulta so like goodbye like leave me alone i just whatever that ulta wasn't even that great so i got a couple things it is what it is and that actually did irritate me a lot and it made me want to leave but like my desire to buy things was more than my annoyance was so whatever i bought like three things and i'm gonna let it go like everyone has that moment where they tell you not to film but i'm like y'all y'all already know what time it is y'all know what year it is like niggas film niggas film in stores like it's not that deep this is not louis vuitton this is not this is nowhere special like i don't care what your policy is like it's not that deep what is the difference between me filming with my camera and me filming on my phone like that's that's really the dumb thing that like if i was in there on my phone what would be the difference but anyway let me just stop talking about it because i said i was not gonna let it bother me so okay now i'm getting ready to go to sephora because there's one thing in particular that i really did want to get out of like everything else my battery is already low but yeah, so I'm about to go to Sephora and I think that's gonna be the last store I'm going to. I don't need to go to the other Target. The one I went to was actually not bad, but it wasn't anything special. It was nice in, in the inside, but like product wise, it wasn't anything special. So I don't feel like I need to go to the other Target just for the Ulta because I don't feel like it's gonna have anything like significantly important that I need to get. So I'm just gonna go to Sephora and see what they have. And then I think I'm gonna pack it up because I'm actually getting tired. And I got some stuff and I'll order some stuff online that I'm gonna show y'all too. When I get home, I'm gonna show y'all everything I bought but i also bought some stuff online from sephora and online from native the brand so i got a good little arsenal it is 11:50, and it's starting to get more more busy but expected because it's like the saturday rush but since i've been out early i just got one more stop to make so yeah we're on our way to sephora now and I don't even know if I want to take my camera. I think I'm gonna just film on my phone now because that just blew me. That really just blew me. And I really don't have time for that a second time today because I will, I'm not gonna cuss anybody out. But I just don't want to hear nobody's mouth a second time. So I'm gonna just take my phone. I'm not gonna film on my camera because I ain't got time. So we are gonna see what we can do. Hopefully they have what I'm looking for. Actually they do because I checked and it said they had it online, but you know how that be. So hopefully they actually have what I need. Okay, I'll see y'all at Sephora. So I'm back home now and I'm gonna show you guys. I actually have a lot of stuff. I kind of underestimated how much stuff I bought, like including the stuff I ordered online, but that's okay. We wanted a lot of stuff and we got a lot of stuff. I have quite a bit of stuff to show y'all. I'm excited about it. So let's get into it. So first things first, who should we start with? Let's start with Walmart because it was very boring and I was upset about it a little bit, but it's okay. So the first thing I got was my TheraBreath mouthwash. Y'all already know this is staple, holy grail in my routine. I get the Invigorating Icy Mint one, the blue one, light blue, cause there's a dark blue, that's nasty. This light blue is the one I use. And apparently they sell this at Costco. So that means it comes in bulk. I had no idea, my cousin told me, and I'm gonna check on that and see if they actually have it. But if they do, that's lit because I would love to buy this size bottle in bulk. I don't like the giant bottle. I think 
like I told you that before, I don't like large size things. I don't know why, I just don't. But yeah, this was what I picked up from Walmart, just some mouthwash. And also, because I am who I am, I saw this pack of wipes and I bought them because they had Winnie the Pooh on them. There's literally no, I literally just bought them because Winnie the Pooh was on it. They are plant-based wipes and they are 99% purified water. I'm gonna just put these in a bathroom or maybe like in my car or something, but the packaging was cute. It was like 97 cents, so here we are. Let's do Target next. Let me just take this stuff out because this, I'm sure it sounds so stupid. So hold on a second. Okay, so at Target, I got a new body wash. I got this Olay Rough Dry Skin Body Wash. I really just bought it because it smelled good. I don't have rough dry skin, but it has B3 and cocoa butter. So I'm sure that will work fine for me. And it just smells really good. Like I really like how it smells. So that's really why I bought it. And I don't know if you could hear me in the video when I was talking about this, but there's also a body conditioner that is exactly like this. And that's really what I wanted, but they didn't have that at Target or really anywhere when I Googled it, but they did have it at Walgreens and I actually stopped at Walgreens and got it. So I'll show you that in a second. But this is the body wash. It smells really good. And I think this is new because I've actually never seen this before. So I'm thinking that this is a new like line or product because I also saw that they had one for like eczema, they had one for another type of skin that I don't remember, but there's like a couple of different kinds that are like specific to different types of skin. So I think that's really cool. So I'm gonna try this and let y'all know. It smells good. I hope that it feels good on the skin. It should be super moisturizing since this is for rough dry skin. So I'm excited to try it. I have never tried an Olay body wash, I don't think. I don't think I've ever bought any body wash from them. I just never really was interested. So hopefully this doesn't disappoint, but it smells really good. So if nothing else, it smells good. And then also, also from Olay, I picked up some more KP Bump Scrub. And again, I don't know how much y'all could hear me in the store because I had on an AirPod, I was listening to my prayer call and I was also trying to film at the same time and it was loud in there. And people kept coming in the aisle when I was trying to film. So anyway, I've used this before. I think I had a bottle like a month ago or a few weeks ago before I ran out. And I was using it like on the back of my thighs, on my butt and like on my arms. So I started using it and I used the whole bottle and I think it was making a difference. So I'm gonna keep trying and using it and seeing how it progresses. I was only using it like once or twice a week. And because this is not like a normal body scrub, I didn't wanna go OD on it. So yeah, but anyway, I really like this so far. So I just picked up another bottle. I do feel like my legs be smoother after I do it So I think it works. So we're gonna keep going with it Then I picked up another bottle of Thayer's Witch Hazel. This is just in the original scent I have actually been using this as a face toner I mean it is a face toner, but I wasn't using it just for that I was using it for something else But ever since I ran out of my Kiehl's toner I just started using this because I already had it and then so far Do y'all hear that? It's like a thunderstorm. I told you I was supposed to rain. Thankfully, I got back home before the storm, but it's like literally lightning and pouring and thundering right now. So this was just another re-up, nothing new, nothing special. And then I also picked up probably like a couple weeks ago from Target, the Vaseline Cocoa Shimmer Jelly Stick. I've heard about this, but I could never find it. So I finally found it at a Target that wasn't near me, of course. It's basically just like a shimmer stick that is supposed to just make you glowy. I have gotten back into my my glow bag. Like back in the day when highlighting was like the thing to do, I had so many highlighters and so many like glow drops Anything that was gonna make you look glowy, glittery, shimmery, I had it all. I didn't even wear makeup then either, but that is the one thing that I did do was put on some highlighter. I mean, I doused myself in highlighter. And lately I've been feeling like I wanna be back in that bag. I wanna be glowy, I wanna be bronze. I just wanna be, I just wanna be shining all the time. So I've been buying some stuff to make me bronzy and like shiny, shimmery. So anyway, I found this, it was cheap and we are gonna see how it works. When I swatched it, it kinda looks, I don't feel like you can really, I guess you can see a little bit. It ain't doing much. In the store, it looked good. You can't really see, oh, I guess you can see. I think it would be really good to put on like your collarbone, like your cheekbones, or like your shoulders if you're wearing like a sleeveless shirt or something. Put it on your arms, your legs, if you're in a bathing suit, like on your chest. I just think it would be a really nice sheen. And so I like it. I think it looks nice. I will let you guys know if it actually does anything because right now there's a light shining bright on it and it looks, I don't think it's giving what it gave me in the store when I looked at it. So we gonna see how well it works. It wasn't that expensive. So if it don't perform well, I'm not gonna be that mad. Next, let's do, since we already talked about it, 
Walgreens. And the only reason I went to Walgreens is because, like I said, I looked this up and that was one of the only stores in my area that carried it. So this is the Olay Rough Dry Skin Body Conditioner. This is the exact same scent and formula as the body wash that I wore today. So obviously we love like a matching set, a pair. This is what I wanted first before I even knew there was a body wash. So you already know the body conditioner is like a staple in my shower. So I'm excited to try a new formula, new scent. Shout out to the Walgreens by my house because they had a lot. They actually had a whole lot of like body care products. I was very surprised. All right, next let's do Ulta. And Ulta, y'all blew me today. Like I need to look at the footage to see what my face looked like when she told me that I couldn't film. Like, and she wasn't even mean about it, but it just blew me because girl, just leave me alone. Like I'm over here minding my business and you come over here telling me I can't film. Like I'm getting upset about it again, but it's all right, it's all right. That's them people's policy. Anyway, I bought two Tree Hut body scrubs. The first one is in Exotic Bloom. This one was like a weird, a weird like for me because I don't even like florals, but it doesn't smell like florals to me. It smells like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's so pretty. But I don't know how to describe what this smells like. Like it kind, I don't know. It smells, it doesn't smell like a normal floral scent because I don't like florals. This smells like, I don't know, but it smells good. So I would recommend smelling it. I, maybe it's the lavender that I'm smelling because when I smelled it, I was like, this would go perfect with my wind down method body wash, which is like what I usually use for nighttime showers. So I think the lavender is what's like selling me on this. So yeah, I don't know. It just is reminding me of that body wash. So that's why I got it. Cause I was like, oh, this would be like a perfect like match for nighttime shower. So that's why I got that one. And then I got the pineapple flavor. Again, I don't know what I was on today cause I don't even like fruity body scrubs or body washes like that but this smells like it does smell like pineapple but it also smells kind of like a pina colada to me and that will make sense in a few minutes when i show you something else that i bought but it smells really good like it doesn't smell too sweet i'm like inhaling it too much that i can't breathe because i'm also holding my breath but i like it i didn't show you the inside it has like little black flecks or like seed looking things. And then I also picked up this fresh cream Eau de Toilette, total water. So funny thing, my friend Jasmine had actually put me on to the fresh cream version of this, like just plain fresh cream. And then I didn't even know that that was like a derivative or in the same line as the fresh cream lotion that I used to use years ago. Like I used to run through them bottles of lotion. And so I went to go smell it today because I thought it would be like reminiscent of that. And I did not like how that smelled. Like I thought it was gonna, I don't know. I don't know what I thought it was gonna smell like, but it, it didn't smell good. It smelled like sprinkles to me. And the lotion does not smell like that to me. So I don't know if I like wore that scent out and now I don't like it or if the perfume is just different than the lotion, but I just couldn't get down with that. And then I smelled this one and I was like, oh, this is Ashley. This is right up my alley. So this is what it looks like. And this is Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. And I sprayed it on in the store, but I already had perfume on, so. So it smells good, I like it. It's obviously a warm scent, warm cashmere. So y'all know I'm, I'm a warm girl, I like warm smells. So not bad for, you know, a little toilet water. Sorry, I keep saying toilet water, but that's <laughs> the way my grandmother explained it to me a long time ago. And I just always say toilet water instead of Uday toilet. So those are the only three things I got from Ulta because they was blowing me, but also because I didn't see nothing else. So the next things are actually, since we talked about the pineapple. So the next items are from Native, the brand Native, but I ordered it directly from the Native website because I've never seen these flavors, flavors. I've never seen these scents in store. So the first one is this Native Body Wash and Pina Colada. And this is why I said that the pineapple would go well with something I already bought because this smells like, it smells like a Pina Colada. And I feel like the pineapple body scrub right after would be chef's kiss because they're not, to me, they're not too sweet, like fruity. I feel like they're mild enough that it's not like overbearing. And this just feels like very tropical. Like I'm at the beach, at the resort, somewhere with a pina colada, just maxing and relaxing. And I just really like that for me. So 
yeah i think this would be great with the pineapple body scrub as i said i think it would be a perfect match i'm really into pairing my body wash and my scrubs now so let's see how far we can go with this i'm excited about it summertime vibe maybe i will do a summertime like tropical shower routine i think i like that stay tuned stay tuned and let's see what we can do the next body wash that i got also from native is the powder and cotton scent i literally never never saw this and apparently this is not even a limited one this is like a normal like a part of their everyday line scent. And I just got this because I wanted something fresh and just like clean. And I feel like powder and cotton is just that. This smells good, it smells fresh. So I like that for me. Like some days I just want, like after the gym, I just want like a fresh scent. I don't really wanna smell like anything in particular. Like I wanna smell fresh, like freshly washed linen. This smells really good and I had never seen this before but I saw it today at Walgreens and this is why I said Walgreens actually had like mad body washes that I've not seen. They had a couple other native scents that I haven't seen on the shelves either at like Target or Walmart so let me find out I'm about to have to be getting body care at Walgreens. Like what is that about? They low-key had more stock than the Target and the Walmart that I went to. Like if I'm being for real for real like they had a lot of options and they were stocked. Like their shelf was not bare anywhere in that section. It's Walgreens the like secret thing that we don't know about might have just tapped into like an untapped market the next thing I got also from native is a new deodorant and this is also in the powder and cotton scent obviously we are into pairing but also I wanted a new scent for my deodorant same deal like some days I don't want like a scented thing I just want oops I just want something fresh that just smells clean without doing too much, you know? This smells just like the body wash. It smells very fresh. I can't wait to use this. They actually have like a deodorant for almost every body wash, which is pretty cool. I love that actually. Although the shipping took a very long time. I was not pleased about that. So just FYI, if you do order from the website, if you're not gonna do like expedited shipping, just be prepared to wait because it took like almost two business weeks to get to me. So just FYI, shipping is not fast, but worth the wait, I will say, because they all smell good. Next up is Sephora. And I got a couple, couple of things from Sephora. So the first thing is pretty boring. It's just a re-up on my Tatcha rice wash that I use on my face. I ran out and had to get another bottle. You guys have seen what this looks like. Again, this is one of my staples in my skincare routine. Next thing I picked up, this is really what I was most excited for this whole trip because I've been seeing a lot of people talk about this and saying how good it is and all this and that. So yes, I had to get it. So this is the Ole Henriksen Beam Cream Smoothing Body Moisturizer. And I'm not gonna hold you. When I smelled this in the store, it didn't smell that great. Like it doesn't stink, but it also doesn't smell that good, if that makes sense. Like I don't feel like you will have a scent if you wear it, but it just doesn't, it don't smell like nothing, but it like doesn't smell good. I don't know if that makes sense. The point is it don't smell that great, but everybody has been raving about this. And literally I saw, who was it? High Low Lux, that's what did it for me. High Low Lux showed her shoulder, she was doing like a get ready with me TikTok and she put it on one side of her body and left it off the other side. And literally the one side of her body that she put it on was so hydrated and moisturized and like shiny and it just looked so good in comparison to the other one. It looked so good. It was so hydrated and moisturized and she has like really nice brown skin. So it looked so good. So anyway, obviously I was like, oh, I need that. So that's why we have this now. And I am definitely gonna let y'all know about this though because she was $38. So she better be doing something. I hope that it works. And I've been seeing a lot of people saying that is really good so i will let y'all know about this i'm excited about this and then i picked up this laneige lip treatment balm and this packaging first of all the iridescent wording on it i love that and this has been in my cart on my sephora app for quite a while i just never pulled the trigger on it but it comes in this little container like how cute and then this is actually a tool that you use to get the product out so that you don't have to like dip your finger in it. I thought that was really cool. The only thing I'm concerned about is like once I get the product on it and I put it back in there, then there's gonna be like product in there. That kind of like bothers me, but it's fine. And so this is what it looks like on the inside. It's like kind of iridescent, glimmer, 
but I think it goes on pretty clear. I think it might have a little shimmer to it, but I don't mind that. I actually like that. So I'm excited about this. It's so cute and it's so pretty. Like y'all know I love a good packaging and this is just, how cute. I haven't decided if this is gonna be like a traveling product or not. Like if I'm gonna be using this every day in my purse or if this is gonna be like a bedside thing. The shimmer makes me feel like it should be worn out, but it's just so nice and dainty and cute that I don't know that I wanted to get messed up in my bag. Like, I don't know, I'm gonna need to think about it, but I'm sure it's gonna be great because y'all know, Laneige makes great lip products and I'm already hip, so. I know it's gonna be good. Then I also picked up, again, back to, I'm trying to be back in my Glow Princess bag and I saw this and I was like, you know what, do I need this? No, but it might be amazing. I can't get this freaking box open. And I don't wanna tear it just in case I end up taking this back. Okay, so I got the Fenty Liquid Kilowatt Fluid Freestyle Highlighter. This is the box, and then this is what it looks like. These are basically just glow drops, and this is in the color Honey Hottie. It's spelled Hottie, but Honey Hottie. And when I swatched this on my hand, it was giving Golden Goddess, and I was like, I need this. <laughs> I need this. I used to have some Chanel glow drops, and when I say I used to douse myself with that, like this is how I took many selfies because I need you to see this highlight, okay? I need you to see this highlight. Like I was literally putting it all over my face. I would literally have a highlighter all on my face, like from here to here. Why? Why? And then a little bit on my nose, but whatever. I'm, I'm ready to be back on that wave and I don't care. I'm just excited about it. It's summertime. I want to be glowy. I don't know if they're going to be that great, but we going to try. I'm pretty tan right now. I feel like this light is making me look a little, I don't know, but in real life, I'm pretty tan. So I feel like a nice little glow on the cheeks would be really cute. You know, if I'm out at brunch, you know, giving the girls, you know, my mimosa teas, like I always do. I feel like a little glow on my, a little glow would be like very cute. Like, and then I'm gonna have my shoulders gonna be shining because I'm gonna put this on there. Like, it's giving glow princess. I am a glow princess. I am the glow princess, okay? I'm bringing her back. She was on retirement, but we're coming, we're coming back. She's coming out of retirement for the remainder of summer 2022. So just be on the lookout for her, okay? Oh, the things that I ordered from Sephora also, but I ordered these online because I didn't have them in the store. I got this exfoliating body serum by Topicals. It's called Slather. And this is supposed to be good for fun. I can't talk and do multiple things. But this has retinol, lactic acid, urea, urea, and squalene in it. And I believe this is supposed to be good for moisturizing, exfoliating, and soothing the skin, smoothing, sorry, smoothing the skin. And I saw somebody tag this and they said that they use it on their eczema and that it really helps. So I'm really trying to like combat this eczema on my arms. It's not that bad, but like it's to a point where like it needs attention. And I'm probably gonna go to my dermatologist soon, but I just wanted to try some things to see if they would help. And I was reading the comments on the website about it. And a lot of people use this also for the back of their legs for like any small bumps. On the backs of their arms like anywhere on their body that has like little bumpy areas or whatever and they said that this works so she's in the mood to try things clearly so that's why i picked this up so yeah the reviews were pretty good and like somebody that i follow on instagram actually tagged them and said like organically things about them so i was like let me try it out and see what it's talking about so we're gonna try that so next thing that i got <laughs> also from the same brand topicals is this high roller ingrown tonic as y'all know, I do my own Brazilian wax. I wax my underarms at home, like I do that myself. And when I used to go to European Wax Center, I used to get that, um, I used to get that, what is that stuff called? The serum, the serum, ingrown hair serum. And because I haven't been back in, I don't know, maybe like a year and a half, basically since quarantine started, since COVID, I have not been back. So I ran out a long time ago, but I've been finding that I've been getting a little more ingrown hairs than normal and I don't like that. So I randomly got a ad on Instagram about this 
product. This is what it looks like, by the way. And I was like, oh, that looks kind of good. Like, okay, I might have to try that and see if it works. And then of course I went and read the reviews. They said it really helped with their ingrowns. They noticed like the skin in the areas that they use this on was even lighter and smoother. So I'm gonna try this and see if that, if that helps my bikini area. So yeah, this is my first time using this brand or this will be my first time using this brand. If you've used topicals before, let me know in the comments how you liked it. My cousin was telling me about some other, I think spot treatment product that they have that's really good that a lot of people like. So it should be good. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about all of my new products because I haven't had like new new products in a really long time. Like I bought like along the same lines of things recently, but like nothing that's like brand spanking new brand that I've never bought from before or anything like that. So I'm excited about it. I think that, is that everything? Kind of a lot of things I've been talking for a long time. Oh no, the last thing that I have, these are random, but this is from Rode. This is Hailey Bieber's skincare line and I bought the peptide lip treatments. Obviously I bought all three because aesthetic and I just like the packaging. Can you really see what colors they are? I feel like it's getting washed out. But yeah, I bought this because I needed the set and because it seemed like it was a good lip product. Y'all know I'm a lip product junkie and I just, I had to. So this is the watermelon one. Obviously I had to crack that one open first because I'm me and watermelon flavor, thank you. So yeah, this one is watermelon slice. I actually am wearing it right now. It's pretty hydrating and I feel like my lips look good. It's very moisturizing. I think this is actually a lip plump, is it? Cause I feel like when I bought it, I didn't realize that. But when I was watching like story posts on the Instagram page, I think it was saying that, but it's a lip treatment. So I don't know. I can't really tell you. I think, I don't know if it's a lip plumper. I mean, do my lips look bigger? But anyway, I think it looks nice. It's very hydrating. It's like a thick consistency, but like not in a bad way. It's like thick and it feels like it's like on your lips. Like I don't feel like I need to put like a whole lot. Cause y'all know, I will do a number of laps around my lips before I'm satisfied with like the amount of moisture on them. This, I don't have to do that much. I really like this packaging to be honest. I'm probably not gonna try the other products just because I'm really particular about like actual skincare, but it seems like her brand is really good. Like it seems like, you know, the products are clean. I don't get the same vibe from like other celebrity skincare lines. If that makes sense, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speak too much on that, but I just <laughs> celebrities and skincare, I just don't really get into that. For me personally, if it works for you, I love that for you. But I'm not really into that. But lip products, I will try those all day long because I love a good lip product. So so far so good. I like the consistency, I like the formula, the other scents, because I only mentioned one, the watermelon slice one. There's also salted caramel, and then there's an unscented one. So anyway, I bought the trio. <laughs> I bought the trio. So far so good good again these are the road peptide lip treatments and they are shea butter based and i really like them so i would check them out if you're interested so yeah i feel like i have been talking for quite a while it is yep going on 43 minutes that i've been in here talking so i'm gonna go ahead and go i hope you guys enjoyed this hygiene vlog haul and hopefully you saw something that you want to try or something that you're already hip to that you can hit me about let me know in the comments so yeah, i'm gonna link everything below in case you want to try try anything so yeah i'm gonna go and i'll see you guys in my next one bye Tell me what you're